We're Postnord, uh, logistics and distribution, but we also handle uh, printing and we also handle fulfillment for uh, uh, warehousing. My name is Thomas Lundström. I'm the uh, project lead in, in our 3D initiative. The 3D initiative is, is a way for us to explore new opportunities and disruptive technologies. We work with Free Your Mind, uh, Stratosys and uh, Sony right now. Why we came together with all these specific companies is because of the, the innovative uh, minds on the companies. You need the people that really believe in, in uh, growing the market rather than uh, putting into a, a, a folder of uh, this is what you can do because 3D is very wide and there is absolutely no limits. I think it was really great. Uh, it's really fun and, and exciting for all of our employees to see these new innovative technologies. First of all, we had Sony Mobile. They make it really accessible for everyone, actually. You just need a phone. That's it. So we're able to give consumers an easy way to scan something in 3D in, with a 500 euro device mm. rather than having to go to a studio or model a lot of stuff yourself, etc. Uh, and then there was uh, Alexander Cicek from uh, Tree Your Mind to uh, talk about the, the innovative technologies in software that can really unleash the capabilities of this uh, whole process. Like you, have, you need to have a core and, uh, and that's what they are doing right now. And then we had Stratosys talking about their technology in the J750 printer, uh, about the full color spectrum, giving our personnel an insight on what the te technology is capable of, because that's really important when you try to do a, a new initiative in a company, you need to invite the people of the company to really get to understand what it is that we're using. And finally, our, our CEO of uh, Postum Stroforsch uh, and me was there talking as well uh, about the impact on our business and, and the way we develop and sell this business further on. The AEM, our 3D printing, it really, it really uh, opens up the opportunities for people outside the manufacturing industry to be a part of the manufacturing industry. Now you don't need the, the top level engineers to run a machine and, and uh, create tools. It's digital, everything is digital, so the engineers that you need, they, they should be digital engineers. What happens when you want to create a, a, new, um, a new product? Well, first of all, you need to start the design process, then you need to start the tolerance process, and then you need to start this and this. It's a long process, manufacturing. But 3D printing is not the same process. It's about getting the engineers to upload a digital file and print it, basically. If you simplify it, of course there are a lot of more advanced 3D printing uh, technologies as well, such as metal, uh, but all of that I think will come to a, a place where um, it's more of an open source manufacturing. I think it will benefit the whole, the whole industry.